The West Australian Labor Party will be meeting to discuss contenders to replace Mark McGowan following his shock resignation yesterday afternoon. The Premier will stand down by the end of the week after announcing in a last minute press conference his intention to retire. It's just part of the role. There's endless um, questions and um, endless conflict and criticism. Uh, you just have to be prepared for that. But frankly, um, I don't. I don't want to deal with that sort of conflict and confrontation and criticism anymore. Our reporter Crystal Wu is live outside the outgoing Premier's electorate office in Rockingham. Crystal, good morning. So who are the likely contenders to replace him? Pete, Deputy Premier Roger Cook has announced he'll be running for the top job. Health Minister Amber Jade Sanderson and Transport Minister Rita Safiotti have, will also be likely to be quite strong contenders. But they're not likely to elect a new leader until late this week, early next week, as McGowan still has one week um, in his role as Premier. It will be a hard one to find a replacement for McGowan, who's put his name on the national stage as the face of WA, essentially, during the COVID-19 pandemic pandemic. Opposition leader Shane Love says McGowan's name has really been a brand in the Labor government and his resignation has come at a cost to the Labor government. Here are some of the other responses to his resignation. The confidence that West Australians had in him uh, certainly gave us a, a, a positive reception in Western Australia. But I think now people have seen Prime Minister Albanese and the team. I think we, um, we're doing quite uh, positively. When a politician of this standing departs the scene, uh, it clearly has an impact. But I, what I would say is the Liberal Party has a lot of work to do to regain trust, rebuild trust with the people of Western Australia. The Premier has become a national figure after his snap decision to enforce one of the strictest travel restrictions during the COVID-19 pandemic. He shut down the border for almost a year. While some say he did things at the interest of West Australians, others say he took it too far. My dad lived in Norway. I lived in Sydney at that time. Um, we both couldn't we enter, couldn't come, back. come back and see our family for like almost a year. And you had to pay $6,000 yeah, twice, $3,000, 3000 for the... My sister at that time, we did Yeah, so it was very hard to come back to Perth. I think he took a very conservative approach when and he, he didn't need to. Mark McGowan has been Premier for six years now. He's been the leader of the WA Labor Party for 11 and a half years. He says he's tired. He's tired of constantly fronting the media, tired of confrontation. But there's no doubt his time in his position has led to some extraordinary events like the rescue of little Cleo Smith in October 2021. Also, he delivered a significant budget surplus during the budget announcement a few weeks ago. He also has maintained a strong trade relationship between China and WA, just visiting China a couple of months ago. The Premier has confirmed he has no plans for the future, but he has confirmed he does want to continue working, Pete. Crystal, thank you.